Hey, what's going on? Dynasty Strong. It's Friday, about 11 o'clock a.m. I'm done with my Body Beast Build Legs workout, so I'm still a little bit uh, <laughs> dizzy and sore from that workout. So I uh, just want to let you guys know I'm here. Um, just going through my to-do list. Uh, what's up, Kay? I see you're on here. Um, read this morning from this book, John C. Maxwell's 15 Invaluable Laws of Growth. Absolutely love that group. And then I just finished this book last week called Tribal Leadership. Make sure that uh, you are doing your personal development. It's probably, um, outside of doing your workouts, it's probably the most important thing that you can be doing for your business. And not just for your business, but for uh, your life. Because the better you live your life, the better you're going to be able to help other people. The higher your energy level is going to be which is going to help you attract the right people as well. So I want to make this quick. Um, if you guys don't know, every single Friday, I'm a, I'm a creature of habit. Um, every single Friday, Gabby and I go on a date. So here by noon, I need to be at the Olive Garden with Gabby and then a couple of our childhood friends. So I'll need to make this video fairly quick. Um, but I wanted to share with you guys, um, this is something I taught a lot back in 2011, 2012 as I was building my business. And there was two things this week that happened um, over the last couple of days where I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to teach this uh, to our current coaches and our current team. So um, it's, that's a great reminder as well. Like when you're telling your story on social media, whether you've been a coach for three months, six months, a year, three years, five years, whatever it is, is all of the time you're getting new followers, you're getting new people that are watching you. So it's important to, um, it's not bad, let's say, to repeat things and talk about the same things um, over and over. What's up, Mike? I want to see everybody's on here. Mike, Heidi, Kay. Um, what we're going to talk about today is increasing your productivity and decreasing your the feeling of overwhelm that you can have as a coach. And two things that spark that for me today were this. The number one, the first thing that sparked this idea in my head where I was like, I need to talk about this, is one of my new coaches, uh, incredible coach Tiffany Labrui. She hit Success Club in Emerald in her first month. But she asked a great question in our new coach chat thread, um, just asking like, what time are the team calls? Uh, Kay actually asked this question too. So Kay and, um, Kay and Tiffany both asked this question. What time are the team calls? Um, and, and how do I access them? So we have team calls typically on Wednesdays at noon mountain time. However, that time will change, could change each week depending on if we have a guest speaker or not. Usually if I'm teaching or doing the team call, it's Wednesday at noon. If we have someone else doing it, it could be a different day. Here's what I want you guys to know. We put those team calls every week inside of the Dynasty Strong team page. So for example, uh, last night was a team call hosted, well, um, planned by Tate Cox, and it was a call with someone that's not a part of Team Beachbody named Josh Coates. So that call was last night. Um, next week, I could tell you our call will be Wednesday, and I'll put it here in the Dynasty Strong Team page. Our call next week will be Wednesday at, I believe it's one or two o'clock mountain time. I will put that post here in the Dynasty Strong Team page. But here is what made me think about this that I wanted to share with you guys on increasing your productivity as a coach. Um, uh, oh, it was, I think it was Tiffany said, you know, I didn't see, like I went into the Dynasty Strong team page and now I see the team call. I didn't see it on my news feed. So what I want you guys to know is uh, that will increase your productivity is when you are building your beach body, there's a difference between just going to your news feed, to your Instagram, to your Facebook. And there's, there's a difference between just going there and going there with intention to build your business and doing the income producing activities. So the first tip that I can give you guys is take off all notifications on your phone for Instagram and for Facebook. I personally don't even have notifications for text messages. I have no alerts, no buzzes, no beeps, uh, no notifications, no banners that pop up on my phone. None, zero zilch. So when I am building my business and I need to go see what's going on with Team Beachbody or with the team page, what you do, what I do is in the group, with the group, you can click the three little dots and add it to your favorites. So the groups that I need to check into are listed as favorites. And on the left side, when you log in to your, uh, on a laptop, they'll show up like there's your name, your profile, your messages, and then your top uh, groups that you pin as your favorites. So I have the Dynasty Strong Virtual Gym, I have the Dynasty Strong Facebook group, and I have my coach Lindsay Matway's Dynasty Strong 
um, Together Transformed, whatever it's called. I have all three of those groups pinned on the left side. So when I go into work and on my business Success Club Business Activity Tracker, it, it says check into uh, your support groups or your Facebook groups, team page challenge group. I don't have to type it in and look for it. I don't have to be um, hope that I hit all three groups and only hit one. I strategically go into the Dynasty Strong team page first, the Dynasty Strong virtual gym next, and then I go into uh, my coach Lindsay's group and I do that one real brief and quick because she runs that. Um, but I do that real quick and I can do my challenge group, my team page. And, and guys, remember, I've been a coach for nine years and have a large team. I can go through and, and make sure everybody's questions are answered or they have a like or a love on it or a comment. I can do that in 15 minutes. And that's because I'm not like just popping in when there's a notification. So what I know happens a lot of times, and it might be you doing this, that's why I wanted to teach you this, is that the only way you go into a group to post or whatever is you're just going into, like you see a notification, Scotty Hobb posted in uh, Dynasty Strong, you click on it, you go in there, uh, you check some things out, you look at other people's posts, and then you scroll off to something else and you get into this scroll hole of social media and you get no work done. So I only check in once a day. Um, I don't see, I have the notifications on my Facebook. They don't pop up as a banner on my phone. Um, but even then, like if I click, if I do click on it and it says like 97 notifications, it could say Autumn posted in the Dynasty Strong Virtual Gym or Anjali posted in the Dynasty Strong Team Page. I don't click that and go into that group from a notification. I only go into that group strategically one time every day. And that's it. I go in. I love on everybody's post, I comment on everybody's post, and I add value myself. <clears throat> so that's the number one thing that's gonna give you 10 times the amount of production and productivity level is not, um, it's basically not responding to other people's stuff. Like you going intentionally to add value to people and, and to love on other people's stuff or to ask a question and then you're out. So that's the way that that works. Um, that's the way that that helps me. I do that also with my text messages. I do it with Facebook. I do it with Instagram. I just go in once, in and out. The same thing happens when, when I'm doing my inviting or my to-do list. I go in. This is where you guys are getting distracted. I guarantee it because it happened to me in my first few months. Let's say I'm now on to doing my follow-ups and I have a list of 10 invites, 10 new connections, 10 new invites, and let's say I have 20 follow-ups. So... I have this to-do list, I'm gonna do that. I set a timer, I wanna get that done in 30 minutes. I wanna do all those activities in 30 minutes. I spent 20 minutes doing my Facebook groups, now I gotta do this. So I go in and I start the 10 new conversations, I, I follow people that I like doing the has ha uh, hashtag stuff or people are watching my stories, I, I follow them, I like their stuff, I start a conversation. Okay, I do 10 of those. Now I go on, I do 10 invites. So I, I strategically go in and do those 10 invites What's up, Gio? What's up, uh, Lucy? I strategically do those 10 invites and then I'm done. Then I go on and I do 20, 20 follow-ups. I just keep track of them on notes on my iPhone. I go through 10 of the, or let's say 20 of those follow-ups. Um, maybe I'm following up to see if they watched the Coach Opportunity video that I sent them. Maybe I'm following up to see if they tried the, M, the MBF sample that I sent them. I'm doing some sort of follow-up with them and then I'm done. I did all those activities in, let's say, 30 minutes. What's happening, I feel, with a lot of coaches is you have that intention. Okay, I'm going to go do my follow-ups. And you, you send one follow-up, like, hey, Francesca, uh, I wanted to see if you did the MBF. And then you see a notification, you click it, you're like, oh my gosh, uh, Lucy posted in the Dynasty Strong Team page, or Lindsay Matway posted in whatever. And you click on it, and you go there, and you look at it, and you're like, oh my gosh. And then you start reading through all the comments of that post, and you're just checking out what everybody else is doing, and you get easily distracted. So guys, the one thing I want you guys to know is I never, ever do that. I intentionally go into a group, get it done, answer everybody's questions, post value. I go in, start my 10 new conversations. I go in, do my 10 follow-ups. I go in, um, I do my 10 new invites. It's boom, 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 boom. I go in and I spend 15 minutes and I write a post, add value. I go in, you know, let's say after I do my workout, I do, you know, 10 minutes, I create uh, Instagram stories of my workout uh, or whatever it is. I tag all the people that I, I tag for our accountability in and out easy peasy like that. And it's like, I guarantee I say it's going to 10x your productivity because I'm going to give you guys an example. We have a large team. I hit success club 10 to 30 every single month um, because I stay focused like this. Guys, it's 11 a.m. 
on Friday. I, I stayed up till midnight, I woke up at 8.30, I got my workout done, and I've done every single thing that I need to do for my business today. And it's before 11 o'clock a.m. outside of, of this video where I was like, I'm gonna teach this before I go on the date with Gabby. So when you can stay focused on the activities, you're going to see re results if you do them consistently over time. So many of you, I'm saying it again, so many of you guys are getting distracted by notifications. Like, oh my God, it's like the kid when you're, you're watching your kid's soccer game or baseball game and they're like not even paying attention to the game. They're like, oh, there's a butterfly over there. Or they're like waving at their grandpa and the ball comes past them. Like that's what's happening in your business when you're not focused and you're easily distracted by notifications. So eliminate... Uh, notifications. I guarantee if you eliminated notifications, followed the Success Club system activity tracker and went into your, your each activity with focused intention of what you want from that and didn't get distracted in one year, you will blow your mind with how far you have come in your business. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys um, about that. Uh, and I was the other, I said there was two reasons I was reminded. The one was the question from uh, Tiffany and Kay about where's the team call and I didn't see it in my newsfeed. Um, if you adapt this type of focus uh, and intention, intentionality with your groups, you won't have to like just hope something, you're not gonna miss things because you don't see them in your feed. You're gonna know everything that's going on because every single day, even if it takes you five, 10, 15 minutes in a group, you go in, uh, you check, you see what it is. Oh, there's a team call Wednesday at one o'clock p.m. Mountain. You grab your phone, you put 1 p.m., you put an alert, team call. And then that way you're more focused and, and you're not, if you're focused like that and you do a to-do list in that way, your mind's not gonna be overwhelmed with saying like, oh man, when's that team call again? Uh, where, where is it that I find the national wake-up call? Uh, all these things, if you write them down, you set the boundaries, you put it in there, uh, in your calendar and so forth. And one thing, like when I have ideas, let's say Heidi is on here, I see Heidi commenting, yes. Um, let's say um, I'm working and I'm doing my to-do list like, I'm like, okay, doing my 10 invites. And I'm like, oh, shoot. I need to check on if Beth, you know, advanced her rank on Thursday because she's not a PS coach. I don't see that in my office. So that thought comes up. It's easy to go from my invites and be like, hey, Beth, on a phone, on the text, right? Hey, do you, are you, did you, uh, like, how are you doing on your 10 star qualification? And then you start a conversation there. And then what did you leave? Your invites, that, that vital activity that you were doing. So what I, what I personally do when that happens, or maybe you're a brand new coach and you're like doing something, you're like, oh, I need to think, I need to reach out to so-and-so. So what I do in that moment is I have my note on my phone. I have something called a focus to-do list. So on the focus to-do list, I would write text Beth about 10 star qualification, put it down and then continue my invite process. And that way... I have a to-do list, so when I'm done with those vital behaviors in that intentional, in that activity, and then I have time left at the end of the day, or instead of watching Netflix or whatever it is, I can go in and do that to-do list. Beth, hey, what's going on with this? Anjali, hey, I wanted to say congrats for hitting Success Club uh, 10 and signing your first two coaches, and I have that focus to-do list where I write those things down. The, the thing that really reminded me about this and made me wanna to talk to you guys about this today is like, I don't have those notifications of text, phone, I don't hear phone calls, I don't even hear a ding for a voice message, I don't have uh, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, none of those um, notifications on my phone, absolutely nothing. Um, I don't even let best friends that are, were planning on a camping trip next week in m m memory of my cousin, who was my best friend who passed away just a couple months ago. We're doing a camping trip in, m in memory of him next week. I, I have two voicemails and two texts that I didn't answer from some of my best friends. I didn't answer those until I was done with my business activities. When I'm done with my business act activities, then I will answer that. It's just as if I was at a corporate six-figure earning job. If I'm focused on... Uh, building my, who I am inside of that company. And my best friend calls to talk about camping trip. Am I gonna answer that call when I have clients and customers at that full-time job? Am I just gonna drop that and be like, hey, what's up, man? Like, yeah, let's, let's take off Thursday at 10 a.m. Like, no, if I wanted to be amazing, incredible, and stand above that job, I would stay focused in that job and not do that. So I do that in my business because this business is, a business, it is that. So 
I was reminded of that. We had a break in. Sorry, I tell lots of story. I'll tell this quick. We had a break in. Well, a false reservation at one of our vacation rental homes, and someone checked in for a ten day reservation and cleaned the house out. Took all the flat screen TVs, the Xbox, the games, everything. They wiped it out. And that was just like two months ago, maybe three months ago. So after that happened, we decided to get security systems cameras in all of our vacation rental homes, our home here uh, for when we're traveling and at the cabin. So now we have four places with like three or four video cameras each. And I, Gabby had them on her phone and I put them on my phone. At first I just had the cabin and there's nothing but maybe a deer or a bird once in a while, like once a day. And it would have a notification, which I'm not used to. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. And I would get, I, was, I started to get a little distracted. I'm like, what is it? Hopefully there's like a moose or a bear and I check it and I'm like, ah, oh, it's a stupid bird. <laughs> so I was like that. And then I was like, you know what? I wanna like have access, easy access to uh, the vacation rental as well. I wanna see what's going on like Gabby scene. So she granted me access to those cameras in Salt Lake and in St. George and then here. So I added them and guys, we have vacation renters in our home like 24 seven and there's camera in the garage, the front door, the back door, and people are coming in and out, into the garage, in and out, and there's probably at least 35 to 50 notifications an hour. And my phone was dinging nonstop about all of these movements. And it was driving me absolutely nuts. And it was making me feel overwhelmed that I had to check in and see what was going on, uh, at what's going on at the St. George house. Like, Ooh, I wonder what... And guys, I had to completely shut it off. And that's one of the other things that triggered me um, to be like, oh, I just gotta do what I do with Facebook and Instagram and YouTube and all those things inside of my business. Like, I don't need to see that. It records all of the activity and keeps it for you for one week. So all I need to do is once a week, I need to log into the app and I need to check it and I'll go through in 30 minutes, maybe on a Thursday night with Gabby and we'll make sure there's nothing fishy or nothing weird going on. I don't need to see every time something moves. So that same thing will apply to your business. Guys, I guarantee you, if you're feeling overwhelmed, it's because you're trying to keep up with all the notifications. Uh, if you're feeling overwhelmed, it's because you don't know exactly what to do. Do I check in this group? Do I go to this group? Do I gotta respond every time one of my customers sends a message? And I do that with my Facebook message as well. You guys are my personal sponsor coaches. You'll know this. When you send me a um, Facebook message, like I only answer messages once a day. And like if, let's say I, I answer Anjali's message and then I answer 30 more messages and I'm done and then Anjali responds, I don't answer Anjali's message until the next day when I intentionally go in and answer messages as part of my business activity for that day. So guys, I hope that helps you out. I see Anjali is saying something on here. Yes, you gotta have, you gotta set boundaries. Um, like if you guys, sometimes I'll have uh, you guys as my, my personal sponsor coaches, they're like, hey, I don't mean to bother you. It, I know it's late, but, and they'll write a message. My response is always like, you'll never bother me because it's okay. You can send me a message at 2 a.m. You can send me a message at 4 a.m. Eastern time and it's 2 a.m. Mountain time because it won't show up on my phone. I won't see a notification, it won't buzz, it won't beep, it won't wake me up. But what's gonna happen is when I wake up, do my personal development, do my workout, uh, post on my social media, and then do each of those activities, connecting with new people, inviting people, and following up with people. Then I'll go in and be like, okay, who do I need to respond to now that I've done all of those activities that are income producing activities for me? Oh, Anjali wrote me at, okay, and I'll answer that message, or maybe, It'll be later in the in the day and I'll have the kids at, I'll drop my daughter off at dance, it's across town, it's useless to drive back. I'll be like, I got an hour. I've already done all my business activities this morning and I'll come in and I'll be like, okay, I'll start answering texts. So guys, if you can do that, you're gonna increase your productivity by 10 times. You're gonna feel less overwhelmed by having that to-do list with your Success Club System Activity Tracker and going in intentionally into each of those activities and not getting distracted. Hope that helps you guys out. Now I gotta leave on my date with Gabby and uh, guys, let's, let's go crush it. We have a new month. 
no matter what happens happened last month, uh, realize that you're here for a reason, you're here for a purpose. We have a strong mission of empowering others to continually develop into their greatest potential. If you're being down on yourself, you're not living up to that today. So live up to that. Uh, do the very best that you can today. Be proud of that. Forgive your past. Move forward knowing that if you can improve 1% every single day, you're going to be a completely different, more powerful, incredible, influential human next year when it comes to July 3rd. See you guys.